Hello, hello, my hunts. How are you doing? This is your handful, Mama. I am back with another video for you guys. I am glad you came back to visit my channel. Today I have for you, I will be making, first time on my channel, some sliders. And I have some of the Hawaiian rolls here where I have just popped these in the oven for around about three to four minutes to let them just get a little crust on them. Also, I have me some tomato right here that I'm cutting up, some fresh tomato. And also, I have me some lettuce here. I have some American cheese slices that I'm sitting out so they can get room temperature. And also, I have some... Did I show you the lettuce? I have some lettuce here. And I have garlic powder. I have just put some garlic powder on them. Uh, for seasoning and I also used a little onion powder for flavor and I just have my turkey patties here I you know made them kind of small so they can fit these little buns here I'm going to go ahead and just cut up some more of this tomato I really like fresh tomato and comment down below if you like the sliders as well and I'm going to put tomato on some of them and the lettuce but I know the children, they are not want, going to want the tomato and some of them might not want the lettuce. But I'm going to cut it down and it's very fresh because I want some tomato on mine. So I will be putting some tomato on mine. I'm going to go ahead and start just making sure these are done. And they are. And I'm using the turkey meat. And the turkey meat and the uh, hamburger meat, it cooks up different. So it might be like a little lighter in color and that's fine. I'm not going to use any mayonnaise or mustard or anything. Now, you can use mayonnaise or mustard if you prefer. But this is just something quick, simple, and just bring it to my channel. So if you have a day where you don't feel like cooking, just go grab you some Hawaiian buns, get you some turkey meat or hamburger meat, whatever you prefer, and just cook them down really small, make some small patties. And also, you, if you want the tomato, you can have the tomato, lettuce, whatever you prefer putting on it. I'm just bringing it to you guys so I can show you something quick and simple if you don't feel like being in the kitchen for hours at a time. Okay, this is my American cheese. I'm just going to go ahead and just start adding it on the bottom of each one of these pieces of bun. Let me make sure I'm putting it on the bottom. And I like to pick up these buns from Aldi's because they are cheaper than my uh, local grocery store or my Walmart. So how are you doing out there today, Hans? I hope you're doing well. I hope you are uh, being blessed, you and your family. Staying safe out there, staying mindful, and just having fun. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some on these as well. And that one. Okay, my meat is done, but I'm going to go ahead and start putting my tomato and my lettuce on the ones that I want the tomato and lettuce on because I like I said I know the kids are not going to want it and my tomato is a little big but that's fine because I love tomato some of them might be a little bigger just gonna do tomato on that one I have one person might want the tomato but they will not want the lettuce I'm gonna go ahead and put some lettuce on this one without the tomato and I'm going to go ahead and put some lettuce on this one right here I like to always use fresh ingredients when I'm making a video or just fresh ingredients in my household I have to have fresh ingredients I don't like to let things sit around for a long period of time so back to my sliders I have the cheese on, I have the tomato on, I have the lettuce. And like I said, if you want mayonnaise or if you want mustard, you, you can go ahead and just put whatever you want on it to build it. You can even do your double slider. 
You're just going to use extra cheese and extra meat. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting my sliders on. And this is how I made the hamburger meat. It's just a little bigger than a tablespoon size because I didn't want it to be really big. Because uh, this is just one tray that I'm showing you guys. But all together, I'll be making about 24 of these. So, it'll be some for early in the afternoon. And then it'll be some for later on this evening. Guess what? I'm going to throw some of those multi-grain chips in the plate and some of these sliders. And your handful mama will not be in the stove for two hours today. Just a little humor, you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and put this one on here. Put this one on here. And this one, like I said, this is the turkey meat. And you know, the turkey meat, it doesn't brown up like the um, hamburger meat. It will, but you don't just don't want to cook it so long so it'll just be, you know, real, real dry. But one thing I like about the turkey meat, it holds its form very, very well. You really hold their form good. And just making sure all of them are covered with the meat. And I, like I said, these are going to just be meat and cheese because I already know they are not going to want that extra. So after you get your um, meat on, you can detach that small, the top part and just slide it on the top just like that. Give it a little press and just do the same with the other ones. Let's give it a little press. Something simple, something quick. I'm just going to detach the top here from these. And get them on the top of the slider. Get that extra lettuce that has fallen out. Something simple, something quick, if you do not feel like going in the kitchen for hours and hours at a time. Let me flip that one over. That one was vice versa. We'll flip it over. I did that one on the bottom. And last but not least, and like I said, if you want to add some extra cheese, which I'm going to do. I want that extra cheese on my hand. And if you want that double slider, like I was saying before, just go ahead and just add you some more meat and you'll have your double slider. So I'm going to put some extra cheese on this one. I'm going to put some extra cheese on that one. Some extra cheese on this one. And how about some extra cheese on this one? Clean up my little mess. You guys, comment down below. If you made sliders before, or if you like to go to the White Castle, but just comment down below and let me know. Let your hand for a moment know what you like to do. But, you guys, guess what? This is something simple. I have brought this to you. I'm hoping you will take out the time and make this quick little dish for your family. And also, you can also make ham sliders. You can also make chicken sliders. So, I probably will be coming back with a chicken slider video. Homemade chicken breast. Plenty of ingredients. And also, I'm thinking about doing a fish slider. So, you guys, make sure you're checking out my videos. I always try to post videos every, every day or every other day. But I promise you, it won't be long. So, make sure you're checking out the uh, channel. Making sure you have your notification bell on. You know, sometimes we might think we have it on, but 
it might not be on. And also, if you are subscribed to the channel, I really appreciate everything that you do. All the videos you watch, all the support that you give your handful, mama. But guess what? If you haven't subscribed and you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. But if you're already a subscriber, thank you so, so, so much. But to the new subscribers and old subscribers, click the notification bell and make sure it's on all so you will not miss out on any videos. Please share the videos. Please comment. And please don't forget to hit that like button. This is your handful mama, you guys. Little short video for you guys. This is how they're looking again. And my horns, guess what? I will see you in the next video. Y'all be safe, be blessed. And y'all know what I always say. If it's anything bother you, don't let it bother you, my horns. Get it, sweep it on that rug, and leave it there. I will see you in the next video.